Okay, so we're back with some PSO. Chat here is discussing with me uh, what we're going to do on this run. So the first thing we got to do for a CCC challenge level run is make our rocket seal. The Hulk Leave has generously offered to loan me some hell weapons to try this run on stream, give it some attention. So we've been doing a lot of episode four. We've been doing cookie quests, but I think it's time to try leveling alternative ways. So we're going to start off. Uh, the recommended ID for making all the games is blue ID. I'm going to make a pink ID because Hell Cleave is already going to uh, volunteer to make a blue ID character. So chat, it's all up to you. We're going to go through the options one by one and we're going to make our character. So fortunately for this run, I don't have as much setup as the Force. I've already set aside a Hugh Neural mag and basically triple Heavenly Arm B101 B502. And that's all she's going to be using the entire run, more or less. I believe Hellcleave has mentioned before that he always loves it when we do auto. So we're going to do auto twice. I'm going to go ahead and change it. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, she got she got progressively shorter each time. And Bold Blood says, Rocket Seal is my OG character. Love it. Nice, nice. Okay. Well, I gave two by accident. So let's go through the head choices. So we got this face, got kind of like a hairstyle there, got the pigtails, we got the helmet but it looks super squished, then we got the headband helmet. Interesting. Is chat feeling any of these in particular? I'll let chat think it over a little bit. I'm gonna check one more thing. So we have a lot of different colors. Oh, that's gonna, that's gonna take a little bit. Oh, that's right, we don't choose anything else, so it's mostly just color and face. I guess we'll go back to this. Is chat feeling any of these faces? We're going to mess with the proportions, don't worry. If you want to make them shorter and fatter or taller and skinnier, we'll see what group consensus is. I think the one I usually do is this one. But I probably wouldn't do that one. I don't know if I want the little maid hat thing or not. Three or four. I don't think I've ever done this one before. I could leave it on this one for now. Uh, let's leave it on three. Five is the least used. Yeah, we're good on uh, leveling Murphy, I think. Thank you, for the, though, for the offer. So we have a lot of colors. So I'm just going to preview all the colors. So if there's one that sticks out to you in particular, just say row one and then what number it is. So this is row one, number one, number two, number three. Oh, that character almost looks human with that color. Number four, number five, number six. Oh, that I, used, I think I used that on another character. Number seven, number eight, number nine. Well, that's that's very Android-esque. Oh, another character. You know what? That kind of looks like reminds me of Lilith from Darkstalkers. So this is now row number two, color number one. This is number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Ooh, interesting. Number seven, number eight. Another human-looking character. Number nine. I'm noticing the far end ones are like very robot esque. Now we're finally just going to preview the final row, which only has seven colors. We have number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven. So if there's any in that that stood out to you, let me know. I think there were a couple in there that I was interested in the future. My philosophy is I tend to make them look kind of human. But chat could do whatever they want. Kind of like that combination. I think Tiki has a similar color for one of his characters. Any pink purple is a vote for you. Row three, number five. Welcome, Tekium. So, so far, Remote Battery is recommending this one. How does chat feel about this one? We could compare some of the purples. If there's any other purples in here. Uh-oh, we have, we have a disagreement in the chat. Oh, yeah, keep in mind... Well, we're gonna go with uh, pink. So chat right now is pinking for the, the pink character. We, we, we'll make a blue one. We'll make a blue one. Don't worry. We'll make a blue one. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, chat. We'll, we'll get two chances. I don't know if it'll be... It, probably not in this video. It'll be a separate video. So let's leave it on this one for now. 
based off of what the chat is saying. All right, chat. So we're <laughs> we're in the far bottom right. Is there, is there anything you'd like? I'll play with the slider a little bit. So I'll remember it was roughly there. So she could get very tall. We want her to be. Otherwise, we'll put it like kind of down here. I'm just gonna slide the proportions through so chat can see the differences. She was like somewhere in here. As small as possible or as tall as possible. All right, we can make her shorter. So right now she's short. Yeah, we're good, Murphy. Hopefully, uh, make her buff. Is there, like, one that's just arms? I don't think there's one that makes her arms huge. <laughs> it makes her chest huge. Maybe, like, ultra skinny. There's one that kind of makes her a little bulkier in general. Something in here. Is that what Chad is thinking? Okay. So we need to name the character. This this is the other contentious one. So I think so far it sounds like we're in agreement. So we have the pink character. What would chat like to name the character? Big Rock is still scary. <laughs> see the see when we stall on the character creation, that only gives the rest of chat time to make their own character. See, I said it would be at least five minutes. I wasn't lying. <laughs> also, I forget how to rotate with my controller. I think Helcleave showed me how to do that last time. Oh, there we go. This button will rotate. I don't remember. We didn't show off the character before. She's got a little ribbon thing in the back. I don't think the inverse works for me, <laughs> just for clarity, as of how my controllers are, are assigned. Hmm. So she's very short. She's bulky. She's run into the music. Let's see. Does Chan have any recommendations? Do we do a do do we do a pun on the word short? Do we do something kind of like human esque name? gonna say yeah this this is the big one <laughs> chat at homework hopefully chat has some names i'm stumped oh no see see if we made a raw cast i would have called the raw cast stumpy if we made him short and wide he'd definitely be stumpy hinky winky oh no <laughs> if chat wants it it'll go through but it, it has to be chat not unanimous but pretty close Inky Winky. Oh man, that's a name. <laughs> Rock a whistle? Oh no. I was yeah, I was gonna say, is it Winky a Teletubby? I think so too. Is she gonna be like Riz Kassil? Is that what's gonna happen? Chat losing it at Riz Kassil. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's let's try Riz Kassil. Oops, I gotta delete some letters. So I'd probably do something like that. So I have no idea what ID this will give us by default. It would be very funny if it was pink. Riz Letta, maybe. gonna say we'll need a consensus soon well we'll give the chat two minutes then we're moving on pinky winky was nice too oh yeah we go back to pinky winky we can name the blue one riz casil if you want i was like don't worry chow you got you got more than one character to name so just kind of put it in your back pocket so we'll, we'll save Riz Kassil, potentially, for the blue one. Alright, so we're Pinky Winky. 
You watch it, it'll give us like orange or something weird. Okay, moment of truth. You know what? That's so sad. <laughs> Chat, that is so sad. <laughs> that, is, that is actually so sad. <laughs> Why isn't that pink? So sad. Anyway, so I'm gonna mod sec ID, so... I guess Hell Cleave will make a game. Let me know Hell Cleave when the game is up, and we'll hop in with this character. There we go, thank you. So we're gonna have to mod sec ID and then leave. So sad. It wasn't meant to be. Yeah, yeah, the thrilling adventure. Sure thing, remote battery. I'll, I'll try to try to write you down real quick. So again, if there's enough interest, I don't mind just doing it more. more but it, it depends on how it goes in general. Oh, game, please don't auto-select while I'm typing. That's so rude. Marco, Chris. I don't know who it selected just now. Faded. It. Sure, it'll probably be in the morning. Normal stream time. Right, so we're gonna log in. I have a wedding dress to put on with my character. And I have a lot of items. So I think with how it works out, I can't equip the item right away unless I triple Heavenly Arm. Let's get going. Let's join Hell Please game. Thank you, Winky is here. I'm going to remember none of my shortcuts work. We're going to have to continue forward, I guess. Game, please. So I'm at 77... 77.5, technically. I hate when you start a new character, you don't have the shortcuts. Makes me so sad. We should have... a Nidra. Under decks, we do. Heavenly Arm, Heavenly Arm, Heavenly Arm, Heavenly Arm. I'm gonna pull out a V502, V101, and we're also gonna bring with us a Ranger Wall, Redding Dress. I think that's it. And I think the other thing I want is Show Web. Not 100% needed, but that'll drive me wild. I think this will work. Alright, so I'm gonna go pick up Helkley's item. So I'm at 204 ATA, so I know I can wield it. There's there's not a doubt. I've set up so to make sure I could use this. Thank you. Thank you. Big gun time. Regular handgun, get out of my inventory, you're trash. Ooh, I like that pink character. Oh, I actually really like that. Kudos to uh, whoever made that character. <laughs> also, where's my special attack? What the heck is this default setup? Damn, chat is so fast. On the plus side, I have 100% accuracy. I don't need to see anything to win, it's fine. Eventually I need to set up my traps. There we go. Man, I really wish this wall did not do that, I'll be real with you. The plus side. Even 53 EDK, what I could do now... Switch one of these out for a V502. So I should just automatically hit.
Unfortunately, my freeze traps are not set up, so I'm gonna have to fix those at some point. Right now, not needed. Bye. Figure out later how to fix them. Oh, they're on the wrong pallet. That's annoying. So annoying. Unfortunate. Oh, no worries, Chris. We'll uh, we'll help level you. We were looking for you earlier. As I said before, we might be doing a couple runs of this. But I want to do one of just like a fresh character, just to see how fast it goes. Uh, there's a lot of Galatomizers. I take a few. Definitely want to try mate. At this point, my accuracy is not 100%, but I have a V502, so death is guaranteed if I do hit. Yeah, I don't think it'll take us too, too long with 200% XP. We're doing it during the anniversary event, since that's pretty much the highest it'll ever get. Oh, there we go. Any additional accuracy here is just bonus. Yeah, outside of Cookie, of course. Wow, that is a monstrously fast clear. Soul Atomizers on the floor. That's my Confuse Trap, so that's working as intended. And that's my Freeze Trap. Okay, that's working as intended. Quest is this? This is a uh, oh, I got hit. This is Cal's Clock Challenge. Rip me. Thank you for the revive. Unfortunate. I lost a little bit of XP. Alright, so we just reset here. Alright. Backing out. But yeah, what- oh, to answer Tech Game's question, I got sucked in. Yeah, Wedding Dress is equipable from level 1. Frame is also equipable from level 1. So either of those are pretty good items to potentially use. So yeah, if it goes very quickly, I don't mind helping chat with this run. After this. Yeah, Dress Plate is the male version, exactly. Since I'm playing Rocket Seal, might as well make her pretty. Quite able to use Ranger Wall yet. We're getting there though. Pinky Winky, so pretty. Flop. <laughs> like she clips into the floor. Oh, what's chat doing? Oh, there we go. Let's go. <clears throat> so I don't have a ton of freeze traps, but they get reset whenever I level. So I could technically throw them out if I really need them. 
see my accuracy is raising just enough that I'm always hitting. Once we get Ranger Wall, it's pretty much GG. There we go, that's a better coverage, I think, than the other place I was standing. Happy peaceful music as everything dies. Yeah, this seems fair. Just your average clear of uh, <laughs> episode 2. Nice, more accuracy. Love it. Oh no, I put my normal attack down there? Oh, that's gross. We gotta change that. That's like actually maddening. Alright, Chad, I need to actually be able to attack at some point. Pick up some trimates for later. Save me from needing to shop later. There we go. Well, that's convenient. Yeah, definitely good good choice, Chad. I do think the Hellshot is more useful in this quest. I like Hell Needle more in most other scenarios, but this quest in particular, you just need to hit the whole room. Good call. Maybe we'll have to end up getting both at some point, but for real. That was just like an insta-kill of the whole room. Love it. Bonk. Bronze badge. Nice. Poor enemies. It's going pretty quick. It's pretty easy. Definitely is less of a mat oh no. Definitely is less of a material requirement than the other one. Like, Phone Newman, I gotta, like, mash those materials, but this one's just have gun, will shoot. Definitely that early equipment is a little brutal. So we needed to do the quadruple heavenly arms, or triple heavenly arms into uh, V101. But once we got, I think, three levels, we had enough base ATA to wield it. Nice photon drop. I was gonna say, Hellcleave getting possibly more rewarded here than displaying ultimate. Yeah, let's get our drops. I got a couple. Are we resetting? Or no? I'm confused. People stayed. I started typing. That's kind of annoying. I will kill a few. Oh, are we stopping at Miracle? Why does it have death resist? Alright, slash lobby time. Nah, let's reset. I don't feel like dealing with Gibbles.
but it's taking a little bit to climb. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm curious how close it'll be to like an hour 40 to two hours. Because it is very fast kills. And it is a lot of XP, but we'll see. We're not very far on the created time so far, so I think we're doing fine from like that perspective. Pretty much the moment we enter very hard mode, we'll be able to boost our accuracy. But probably starting in very hard mode, we're going to have to nail... Oh, hard lily. Perish. No rares from Gnar Lily, sadly. It has enhanced EDK. It actually is one of the higher EDKs possible here. But the trade-off is it's worth a lot of XP. That ultimately could save us time. Since I'm already wielding V502, I'm able to just keep doing this. I have a video on the HUD that I'm using. I do, if you do exclamation mark PSO guides. We have one talking about uh, quality of life features, and one of them uh, covers the add-ons. So this is just standard add-on stuff. There we go. So if you want to do the XP reader, I think everything is in there. I think the only one that's separate, I think, is the XP tracker. Everything else, when it comes to items or like enemy health, that's all in one base kit. So if you download the, the base, it should give you almost everything. I definitely want more trimates. My souls move around. Another diamate would be good. I'll need them eventually. I don't need them like right now. No worries, young blood. If you have questions, just let us know. We're doing a hypothetical run. Seeing how we feel about this compared to some of the other power leveling. Yeah, this is definitely Carnage, for sure. So no four slot frames. I was looking to see if there's another one. I would have picked it up. The last. You can see I have a 96% in the upper right hand corner of landing a special. So there's a very strong possibility I just killed them without freeze trap. I could freeze trap. For the most part, oh, well, now it's 97%. For the most part, they're just not going to survive a, a three-hit combo from me. You have to think of it this way. I, I forget what the base hell chance is. Is it 82%? You take 82 minus 25, right? So you could say that's roughly the equivalency of 55-ish percent. And then from there, you double what remains. So anything that has basically 35 or less EDK instantly dies to me, regardless of chance due to V502. Oh, there we go. We're getting pretty close. Yeah, sadly with this, we're not seeing... T well, I mean, we're going to see more Jaya's as soon as we enter hard mode. That's where it's going to start getting crazy. So definitely make sure to check your drops, because we're going to go into Jaya land. Hard mode and very hard mode are very silly on blue ID. Also music, please. Really, it's focusing on the guy I can't hit. Thanks, game. Yes, YouTube, I'm still here. Welcome, Barkeep. Pick up some items while I got the chance. Pick up another Monomate, because that's just good to have. Yeah, I'm already up to 99% chance of hitting. I forget where the fire trap had to go. Was it somewhere over here? I don't remember. I am 1,092 from leveling. A defense material. I'll just need like a, a touch of the next area. So close to leveling. 
mean, I guess in theory I could power through. Now we at least we have some damage with us. Introduce him to Hell Needle, see how he likes it. I didn't think he liked it, chat. Alright, that's gone pretty quick. Even without any power materials, I think that went fine. Very close to leveling. Like one solid hit. One fifty five was so close. That is so rude. Wait. Oh that's right, he doesn't insta kill in lower difficulties. Oh, that's so much nicer. Alright, so we're waiting for banana loaf to level and then we're we're gonna peace out, I think. Put down a little happy free strap for them. That enemy actually legit exploded. Alright, we hit it. Let's let's lobby. Let's lobby. Fail. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> you can't kill me if I'm between dimensions. quick so far. Hope to see our in-game time later. Yeah, I've been picking up a lot of healing. I gotta try to get some more moons. So this is where potentially we might see some dumb Jayas. So this, so normal mode is whatever. Normal mode is definitely worse than episode 4. It's just hands down. There's just way better drops. But this is where it starts to get interesting, because basically there's around four enemies in most areas in hard and very hard that will end up giving a Jaya. Nice. And every accuracy up is huge for us. And keep in mind we can offset our ability to hit by just putting a freeze trap down and shooting if we really need to. So our first shot may or may not hit, but again, look at their EDKs, only 59, so I'm still landing an almost 70% chance to insta-kill. And it just goes up and up my base chance of hitting. It is a little scary potentially finding a lot more rare enemies, because they might have like 60 plus ATAs, so that's why we potentially need like one damage dealer just to burst through it, whether it's like a person with a demon mech gun or like a hue cast. Just because like there will eventually be enemies that are basically immune. Level Iconium. Yeah, I should probably pick that up for a force. Not bad. Another mana mate. And V502 is basically going to negate normal and hard modes EDK almost entirely by itself. going to be super nice. I got knocked down, that's awkward. There's a Moon Atomizer, that's actually a huge pickup. Mono Grinder. Poor enemies. Listen to the peaceful music as they die. So I like that in my position, I basically just shoot from the corner I spawn in and barely need to move. Yeah, definitely worth having at least two people with hell items. Like, like shots specifically. But it looks like Kunai's a pretty good backup. done. You see, they're starting to have like 1200 plus HP. Like, it doesn't matter. We don't care. Our accuracy is starting to soar into the heavens. Oof. Saying no to them. Oh, we got another Moon Atomizer. That's actually huge.
Uh, we're going to use one of our Trimates and back up slightly. Did, did, did my shot just, like, not want to hit him? What was that? Thanks, game. I, like, did the shot, and it's like, nah, he's just walking by you. It'll be fine. Just hit the other guy. There's our first Jaya. Sadly, no stats, so I'm not going to go pick it up. We're gonna put a happy little three strap down. Alright, so it's on the left side of the room. Okay. Now I know. Now I know for the future. So keep in mind, like, it could technically roll 100 with rare weapons. The difference being is that the difficulties will determine the chance that one of those attributes is a hit percentage. But in theory, nothing stops the game from just giving 100 hit Jaya here. We'll probably go up to the Miracle. Damn, that was fast. This Miracle is going to get progressively more annoying to kill. So as we go in with literally no material boosts and our Hugh Neural Mag, which has as a reminder 100 decks. There's only so much we're going to do. Ooh, found an attribute wall. That's actually a nice pickup. That is usually like a fantastic beginner ability. But you know what's also... Be yeah, I was going to say, you know what's also fantastic? Leave. <laughs> Just slash lobby that real quick. We're about 20-ish minutes into the real run. Ooh, got unlucky there. I am so short. <laughs> Just like, oh no. Well, at least chat will be able to see more of the enemy in front of me. We have an 86% chance of just landing our first hit. And as a reminder, if that hit lands, our bonus to hell means that we're pretty much always going to kill. And the reason why Rocket Seal is good for this is because she comes with traps and she just comes with really high accuracy. So she's able to freeze really annoying targets as we get the higher areas. You can see just the straight bullying. So, like, at this phase of the game, it would technically be easier to do with Ramar. Got Banana Loaf. Yeah, this is why if we see a Moon Atomizer, we have to kind of run for it. Speaking of which... Knock this down. And we're gonna try to keep our health H our HP high. We're also playing with like really low defense armor and no materials. So we have a decent chance of dying on a crit. If we were other characters, but Rocket Seal is kind of tanky. She's got some of the best defense of the game. So it's like I'm wearing other things. Yeah, I have one moon. I managed to pick one up. So I think after we lobby here, I'm actually just gonna quit game just to get a time check in game time to see how much time we've taken. I don't like to do it every time, but I like to get like a little bit of a tab. Get a sense of our progress. But so far, it's going pretty well. Boss music playing as we are the boss of this area. Get out of here. Cool. As you can see, as we level, we went from about an 83% chance of hitting our tar- or 87, excuse me, chance of hitting an enemy all the way up to 92. Just from raw level ups. I was gonna say, unlike Chrono Cross, I'm gonna be landing those 90%. Perfect Welcome to you. Yeah, I really like that. I really like how Venus looks, though. Like that combo of height and everything else. A little special, special shoutouts. We gave shoutouts to Tiki earlier for the Tiki colors. And hit one, nice.
gonna say, I'll, I'll, I'll take the bullet. Goodbye. Hopefully you're doing well, Tiki. Stop dodging me. Watch this. Listen, if they get up in your face like that, Fire Trap is your friend. But I'll also take Freeze Trap since they reset so quickly. Quest also isn't bad for forces, you need to magical piece and just spam it in the middle. It's not too bad. Wait, no, I didn't want Jaya. I got baited. I wanted, uh, this. Yeah, forces can kind of bully their way through hard mode. So blue, blue ID phone Newman's not bad here if all you want is Jaya. I would agree with that. I don't know if I'd like them for very hard mode, but hard mode I, I would fully agree. Just because episode 2 resistance to scale kind of insane. See, we're already fighting things with like 70 plus resist. <laughs> Isn't that silly? Look at it. They have 70 fire resist already. Why? We're just on hard mode. Those are the things I expect to see in very hard mode. What silliness. Oh, there's escape doll, but I'm gonna leave it behind, I think. Oh, I just barely grabbed it. Oh, yeah, that was clutch. We need that for later. So yeah, potentially after this, we might just do the same thing, only I won't level a character, and I'll just remain a high-level character. We'll see. Quitting time. Like, bye. This will reduce the in-game timer for the character, since I'm coming here. And give chat time to make another game. So let's see. Time check. We're level 31 in 30 minutes. So we're at least mostly keeping pace. It'll slow down big time the last 10 levels. That That's where we start ending up like 20-30 minutes behind. Yeah, not bad pace so far. I'm assuming team is... I could just consume a power material. I definitely don't want this. I might have picked up enough money to get some moons. I think that's worth. I think that's correct. So now my healing is set to a customizable shortcut bar. I could focus on just helling everything. If I time my shots slower, I can hit them with the third shot. There we go. That's fair. Yeah, 41 will be a huge level for us, because for a while their accuracy will outscale... I mean, their evade will outscale our accuracy, and then I'll just get 20 for no reason, and then it'll be fine. You know, just ranger things. Jaya, no hit percentage. Like there, I missed an 88%. Okay, I just shoot again. <laughs> right, chat? Um, this is a good opportunity to pick up more items. Uh, I think there's some moons over here. I'm gonna pick up two moons. Nice. 
pick up more Vesetta in case it's relevant later. Luckily, he's saying he got a lot of hit, high hit Jaius here. In fact, most of our Jaius have actually just come from uh, RT, <laughs> playing blue RT with people. Like, honestly, like my 40 hits and things, stuff like that, has either come from RT or it's come from blue Phonu Min. I don't remember which one was specifically RT versus the other one, but m my two highest came from both of those quests. So we even just casually playing through, we've been kind of rewarded. And a lot of my hand-me-downs have come from uh, Very Hard Mode, Episode 4. It'll be fun if we could get some things from Episode 2. It's four enemies. The chat was just adjusting to make sure they have Cannon Rouge to hit that one switch to speed up time. We're already at 95% accuracy with them. Badge. It's gonna hit me. Damn. But I got a skate though. I got a skate though. We're good. We're good. Yeah, the downside with the shotgun is man, when it when the enemy just dodges it, it is so painful. Alright, I'm gonna just slow-mo through this. There we go. Go back to my position. Really? You spawned exactly where I wanted to stand? What a rude person. Ooh, luck material? I'd actually want that. Where is that? Ah, it is definitely worth going out of position for a luck material. That That's just one of those items. You don't mess around with it. And apparently we recovered our health. We had the innkeeper sound for a moment. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, that level up though. That level up though. That was good. That was very timely. We have awful rares. I want to pick up. So, yeah, any escape dolls we find are kind of huge, given that we could just die randomly or get disarmed annoyingly like that. here I'm not killing him we're not close enough to leveling we should probably just cycle again yeah we got an okay amount of materials kind of funny seeing bronze badges piling up in our inventory but uh, I meant to say I'm glad you're doing okay Tiggy <laughs> my character barely sees over the counter that's so sad So far, I think we're doing pretty well. Zero XP to next level, oh no. Too powerful. <laughs> like, I'm actually hit level 200 in this quest. Everybody needs to get on my level. Literally and figuratively. We'll see if Banana Loaf levels. There we go. There we go. Leveled. <laughs> the fear is gone.
Dino no hit. Another Club of Laconium. Uh, I do want those for other forces. As a reminder, you can wield that while fighting falls to do more uh, damage with Foe. Like, that's one of the few items I'll go pick up. I'll go share bank it later. Him, please. I have an opportunity to collect some items. Might as well do it. Spare cash up. Yeah, so we sent a handful of Jaya's already. Sadly, not really great rules. Bonk. Yeah, we have a good variety of healing items, so I could just roll my finger on the right control stick. Die with 20 hits just dropped. Uh, that's probably worth picking up for somebody. Is that the right Jaya? Wait, where's the right Jaya? Oh, there it is. Oh. Evil. That was evil how deep that was. That at least has hit percentage. I could probably get that up to new player. Without hit percentage, I don't even think it's worth picking up. For myself, personally, I'd rather just wait for a 40 hitter, but... 20 could get somebody started. It would be decent on, like, a Hugh Casile, for example. You cast, I'm waiting for that 40, though. <laughs> Bronze badge, absolutely. So, due to the anniversary event, we're actually getting a surprising number of items. Just because normally you would not get this combination of rare up, rare enemy up, drop rate up, on top of just randomly getting badges, which is funny. Actual killing spree, there we go. And I, I saw that dumb Del Saber. I'm like, I'm not dealing with you. Get out of here. Oh, he's out of range of me. Fortunate. <laughs> he hit me, chat, but at what cost? Saber. Not the trap I wanted. Must have run it. Yeah, I ran out of freeze. Okay, we'll have an okay amount of freeze for later areas. Ouch. I need to sort my inventory since it's hard for me to tell what healing items I have. Hellshot is something. Chris is witnessing the hell shot and going, yeah, I, I want it. <laughs> the want and need is strong. Uh I guess we should lobby, yeah. Just put this away. I have a feeling I'll need more space later. Oh yeah, I can't wait. The defense boost I don't care about. But that accuracy though. Yeah, we should all hit 40, probably before Spaceship, but we'll see. 
hear him. Have Hunter Wall for this. Nice. More damage. The thoughts so far? Uh, I mean, it's slower than Cookie Quest. It definitely... It, it, it has a big determining factor whether or not you can do the run, but it is very easy for rangers. So, like, this is definitely what I would do for solo ranger, or, like, a group of rangers over that. But if there's a force so far, it's okay. The big difference for why episode 4 is really strong with it... Oh, Hilda Blue's here. I'm gonna make him Hilda Gone. The big reason why it potentially could be useful is, um... Uh, I would say Jaya chances, or if you did it during, like, let's say Christmas event or something like that, where you could get the special rappies, it could just be a way of getting, like, a rare item every now and then. But so far, still prefer episode 4. Let's just get bone, yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's decent. Like, it would definitely, it definitely is slower than what we do in episode 4. If we did the same thing in episode 4 with these bonuses, I believe we would outpace it, no question. But it is interesting to experience. I got baited. Yeah, if somebody's leveling a faux Newman, I'm like, it's party time. Although, honestly, you could just bring your nonsense hell items into episode 4. It just doesn't work as well when you get to very hard mode. Like on my screen, they're basically spawning dead. Like I can, I shoot, and by the time the bullets reach him, he's already dead. Oh, I got out leveled slightly. Oof, a death earlier cost me. Unfortunate. Look there. I should have it in this room. There we go. Goodbye, enemies. Leave me alone. Man, I keep forgetting that one spawns behind me. I need to remember for the next difficulty he does that. Getting a couple of extra healing items here, which is huge. We have eight trimates, which is pretty good. Okay amount of dimates. Pretty much the moment Banana Loaf hits 40, we'll quit out. Although I'm getting my badge first. Not my badge. Where's my badge? I would ask Banana Lip how much he needs to level, but I think I know what the answer is. Die grinder. Another moon. Coming really close. He levels before we get to the Eric Cole. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Slash Lobby. He got it. He got it. <laughs> Bail. Bail. <laughs> We're out of there. We're not dealing with that. No, thank you. Now we're one level away from powering up. You can see, you know, we've been about an hour in the recording as of right now. We had about a 11 minute character creation. We we're falling a little bit behind compared to episode 4. But this is also pretty easy when you have endgame challenge weapons. 
So the requirements are, it's easier to give a weapon to somebody once you have it. It's harder to have enough materials for a phonyman, because getting 140 mind, if you keep doing it, is going to be more expensive to the power level, like the way we're doing, compared to just bringing a hell gun in. Yeah, we're starting to miss a little bit, but I see a very big difference here. There we go. So now we, we basically just negated the accuracy penalty we got for switching difficulties. We now can get a few levels of just leveling. You're starting to see I'm whipping a little more than before. Not like a huge amount. Banana low. That's why we picked up those moons earlier. Ooh. 69 EDK is not good for us. But we might be in trouble if a rare monster spawns. It might be effectively immune to us. That'll be a little scary. We're definitely gonna lean on Hellcleave when that happens. Praise be to Hugh Cast. Near um another escape doll. I definitely want to pick that up. The monomate, we'll take those. Game material, should probably pick those up. Yeah, this run gets progressively easier too, which is kinda nice. Rip. Skip doll dropped. I probably want that. Monomate, more die grinders. Just some trimates, but that's fine. Basically, just have to avoid getting Dell Saber crit, and we should be good. So, this is as hard as it's ever going to get. We're just gonna get more and more accuracy. Yeah, see how they're starting to have 90 EDK on some of the stuff? They're starting to go a little out of range. In single player, it would be totally fine. Multiplayer, it's a little spooky. Yeah, without a V502, this would actually be genuinely pretty difficult. Unfortunately. <laughs> spoilers, we have a V502. I probably want to get that and another escape doll. I think I'll leave that Angel Mine minus minus on the floor. Something tells me I don't need it. Goodbye switch in the middle of the room. A lot of die grinders. I kind of want them. More and more accuracy is huge here. Hopefully got a Jaya, nice. Thought that free strap was gonna go off. Gold. It was just hanging around. Thanks, free strap buddy. I swear on lower difficulties it just acts dumb. Do they have different behaviors or does it just feel like trolling sometimes? Like, that Del Saber was within combat range for at least four seconds, and that thing did not go off. A Brave Hammer. I think that's needed for as a component. Should probably pick that up. Now we have a million Jaya's. You know, I went out of the corner to not get surrounded. I got hard bullied by Del Saber. So sad. He's dying. There we 
got an okay amount of cash in case I need to buy anything later. The Dimates. Yeah, we've basically restocked without ever going to the store, except for one time just to get Moon Atomizers. I'm not really low on healing. Another Scape Doll. Probably drop one for the team so they can pick it up. You know, in case they need it. Okay, we're starting to land our hits really consistently now. Again, it, it, the run just gets easier every time from here on out. Uh, oh, a demon. Yeah, I think it's out time. Although, with, with the demon mech gun, that goes kind of fast. I'm not going to lie. I saw somebody whip it out. It was GG. Hmm. Interesting. I think it's definitely slower than just resetting, but it is amusing. We could just push through. That is not the game I want to go to. Oops. Yeah, my bad. That was so unfortunate, it moved down. <laughs> unfortunate. It was at the top of the list, I thought. So we're at 50, 54 minutes and 45 minutes. Or, you know what I mean, 54 minutes and 45 levels. So definitely it's slower than the episode 4 levels. That's a bit unfortunate. But I didn't really expect it to be as competitive with it, for sure. That's probably going to take closer to two hours than an hour 45, sadly. Don't let the Brian off. Just deposit items I don't need. Should be good enough. Goodbye, Brian off. Okay. Yeah, I think it would potentially be interesting to compare later, like, a solo run of it versus, like, what if a force came in and just hard bullied? Like, they don't do anything in the early difficulties, but on very hard, maybe Gafoe stack would still work? Maybe? They kill the lilies quickly. Badge. Rip the music. Music's trolling for real. Music, please. No hit Jaya, that's so sad. I probably want these. Good material, bronze badge. A pipe for later would be useful. Not want to pick up the Jaya. I was looking for the badge. Oh, I got it already. Never mind. Disregard. I was gonna say I'm going deep for those power of my materials. We picked up a very silly amount, I must say. What kind of four slot drop. Bye, Mill Lily. Aw, Mill Lily is that weapon. Why? Should have, uh, I should have Jaya chat. Whatever. Disappointing draw. I'll definitely take the Monomates. We basically have restocked completely at this point with our items, yeah. There we go, just delayed the shot and just punished them super hard. Guy with no hit percentage.
maybe the goal is to actually stand over here so I don't get cornered again. I feel like last time it just kind of punished me for being in the corner. To escape all drop time. Huh? You know, just wanted the escape doll. You don't have to hit me for it. Sure. So the middle so far looks like it's safe where I'm standing. I haven't seen anything really bad spawn on this side. Middle right. Everything's been like kind of in front of me. Like a long time to react to it. Seriously. I need to get rid of that. Yeah, like, see how even the thing that spawned near me had to do, like, the world's widest turn? I'm okay with that. Definitely putting a freeze trap down. Hmm, I'm missing a little bit, not due to accuracy, but due to, uh, EDK just not working. A bit sad. You get it just sad. There we go. Because you can see I, have a, I literally have a 100% chance to hit him. Now it's purely just down to EDK. Yeah, we're definitely going to freeze the room. We need them to stop doing stuff. Damn, how Cleva whipping out the scythe. Aw, oh, really? I've skipped, although I should. It's annoying. Alright, so there's one time I get punished. I remember it and not be there then. Okay, this is definitely a freeze trap room. When I saw this spawn, I'm like, no. Can please, thank you. Did you miss Asper Methian? Oh, uh, we made a character. We're getting trolled by uh all percentages. Is we, we can't miss anymore. I think we've leveled enough that our accuracy just means we hit if we hit. Let's just down to de demon slash hell. Another brave hammer. I could collect one. And somebody had the demons. Yeah, I mean, if somebody has demon back on it, it gets me to keep going. I don't really care. Let's just unlock it with hell needle. Oh, hopefully we've left. Come on, we gotta leave. Slash levy. Not bad so far. Do it for fun, damn. Eventually my stats will start going up a little higher. I guess I can compare the Hell Needle to this. There we go. Aim please with that aim. Probably get that skip doll. Joke's on you, Lily. I moved out of the way already. Speaking of getting trolled by hell, game please. There we go. Oh no, this mini game. I 
definitely want some extra money for later. I delayed that as much as I could. It's a star animizer, I might as well pick that up. At some point I'll need them. There's actually been a very shockingly low number of Jayas on very hard mode. Yeah. A bit. Basically full healing. Oh no, lost the PD. It's over. Run invalid. Got him. I could pick them up. I'm actually out of room. Mm. Deposit some later. You've got to be kidding me. Enemy went nope, untouchable. Thank you. If only I used D band. Silly Del Saber, get out of my face. Now they're starting to drain my soul atomizers a bit, which kind of sucks. Just have to trap more. I'm out of traps. Well, I got one. Waiting for the level up. Yeah, the sorcerer just seems kind of annoying. Oh, come on. It... Man, I I keep forgetting how much Del Saber does right now. Kind of unfortunate. I think that used the escape doll. It did. Sucks. And I was like one kill from leveling. That also sucks. Hopefully I'll get tanky enough to stop getting one shot. There we go. I'm almost at 100% the chance on these, which is pretty good. Okay. We'll grind away. is bursting. There's Kaiser. The Kaiser is good luck.
highest level. True, killing the uh, Miracle catches you up quite a bit. Die with no hit. Basically, the intent is to bank on that you do a lot of kills. And the sheer number of Jaya will offset the fact that it's a lower chance for a death hit percentage. souls if I see them. Poor Rappies. I'm so sad that it auto-targeted my trap. I didn't even think I was looking in its general direction. With like a, a solid like 60 degree turn to hit it. Unfortunate. You've completed the stage. Definitely appreciate having more soul animizer. There we go. These are the kind of clears I want to see where they're dying almost instantly. I wasn't sure where it was. I just threw a trap down. We're at 95% chance of landing the special on the first shot. Pretty huge. And it'll just keep getting better, hopefully. I've had enough. Stop dodging. Hmm. Goodbye, random thing in the sky. I need a monomate, so hopefully I don't get one shot. Unfortunate. Thanks, shotgun. <laughs> Actually, oh no. Yo. These needs are kicked in, equivalency. Leave me alone. Alright, so I'm not quite one shotable anymore. Those levels made a difference. Is there a reason DB Saber 3077 is popping up at all in the feed? Is that intended? Is there something I don't know about this weapon and why it would show up there? Genuine question. Like, is it just an uber rare that I... Yeah, is it in plating or something? I don't understand, because I don't remember any of the DB Sabers being good, like, even remotely. A flow and shield, nice. Yeah, I'm like, is there another Uber I need to know about? I'll update my sheet. I don't remember the drop rate being that crazy on it, but maybe I'll look again.
There we go. Perfect. Getting closer. Need 25 more levels. So we'll probably hit it in about closer to 40 minutes. So those final 10 levels are going to be a little rough, not going to lie. That might push it to 55. So six more ETA and I don't miss the first hit anymore, which is actually kind of huge. So probably in the next 15 levels that will happen. Fifty Machine Jaya, oh no. If that was like 90 A Beast, I would have been like, Hugh Casile's coming in. Delete button, activate. Oh, it could have been a 50 hit. Yeah, that's true too. Oh, Photon Drop. Uh, sure. Go out of my way to go pick that up. I'm at the point where I don't quite die anymore at a Dull Saber. We're just looking to get like, a little more attack accuracy, so it's just purely down to hell chance. Ranger Wall definitely makes a big difference. Went for 6,000 ADs, well. Wow. Janet, remember how I was saying before? <laughs> We're, we're talking about the power six and the common three. Man, oh man, the closer the closer you get to 55 hit Jaya, it just it scales into the heavens. Like 20 hit Jaya's, like you might get a PD maybe. Then you start getting to 40, it's like okay, you're getting, you're getting a couple more. Then 55 is like 20 plus. 10 more hit, like just infinity more. Good song for the panic and chaos that's happening on screen. Oh, we'll go get that star animizer right there. I'm basically restocked again, which is huge. One, four more accuracy. Yeah, truth be told, I really think there's something wrong with that Front of Cross accuracy. There is no way, there is no way that is accurate. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't know, like, you can see, like, this is kind of like an accuracy simulator. I have, like, 90% or more accuracy. Look how many hits I'm hitting on the first try. Like, how many times have you seen me whiff twice in a row? I think it's happened once so far in the entire run. Compare that to like the Chrono Cross, where we were just like legit missed three ninety percent in a row. Like that was actual insanity. I was like, well, I guess I just don't win. Will flow and shield. I probably want that. Uh, I'll find it eventually in here. There it is. Um. Do I even get rid of? I say one of you is a bronze badge, and I will find you. And we'll put some of that stuff away. Take a safety monome. Put another freeze trap down. <laughs> The panic song as I'm looking for items is also very appropriate. At least now we're starting to store up enough freeze traps that we can maybe clear this area. Oh, I just want to get by. Wait, that's Jaya? Where's the bronze badge? this. There we go. Operation Protect Hell Cleave. Leave Hell Cleave alone. 
Yeah, we're definitely gonna put away some flowing shields. I never got to use them the way they're intended, where you combine them with the flow and frame and sword. Sadly. Take extra healing. Ooh, another star anonymizer, that's huge. I don't know how that didn't kill. That actually just boggled my mind. He just walked through three shots. How did that not kill? There we go, I'm stealing that XP. <laughs> Oh, wait, we're gonna stay a little longer while well, hopefully remakes. I'm gonna get that XP. Let's put some items away. I'm like, um, nom 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 XP. <laughs> so we're gonna put away the many things we just picked up. 13 bronze badges? Why? Well, I guess I'm... Getting more ad slots later, question mark. Yeah, I find the trick, um, I don't mention this a lot to chat, but more directed to chat. I usually leave one of every grinder, one of every material, photon drop, and all the badges I find in my inventory at all times. That way I don't have to keep banking. Some people go and bank it every time. I do see that happen, especially in pub games. I'm like, no, if you're gonna be on the character for like two hours, just let it accrue. Because the worst thing that can happen in a quest like this is if you pick up too many junk items and you can't pick up something important, where if you always have the things that you want in your inventory, then it's way easier to mitigate any kind of junk. So you could have like two to three filler items. The important thing is you will never be surprised by like materials or photon drops. Kind of nice. Yeah, it's very easy to drop escape dolls. Hopefully, it says. But it's like you—you you can fill up the inventory in a way that's useful to you. Yeah. So I think overall, I definitely think it might be worth um, comparing a high-level carry from episode 4 compared to this quest. So I think after this, if there are people that still want to level and are around, I can power level whatever you want. I'm just gonna go on a killing spree as a Phonuman. Because I definitely want to- I want the chat to be able to contrast. Like, we have characters that are new here, but at the same time, like, my level doesn't really matter. Like, if I did this at level 180, like, yeah, it might make a small difference with Red Ring, but like... I'm still just going to be helling everything for the most part. Unless I am like super statted out, I'm not going to be doing anything other than hell. Oh, we hit the end of the soundtrack. That's awkward. Uh, do the soundtrack. I think that's fair. Tomorrow we might level the people that weren't able to make it. That shouldn't take more than a couple hours. And then uh, maybe in the evening we'll do a serious grind.
thinking about if it would be worth if we did a phone Newman Beyond the Horizon just for raw XP versus getting items. I think a fair comparison would be doing Massive Attack. But episode 4 is not a very fair episode. It could do what it wants. That's how my shotgun do it. We do a forecast in this. Yeah, like I could see like if there was like a if you if we were strictly just like leveling one person, I could see where a force would be useful for like charge arm spam. Cause we're just missing like a little bit of damage on certain enemies, but it, we're not missing like a ton a ton either. I'm stuck. Loaf down. I like I've gotten more luck material here than like all of Ultimate earlier. Kind of funny. Even though the rates are statistically more terrible. It is interesting that this is still... I, th I still think this is good for, like, as you said before, like, we're trying to level cast. Nobody's looking to level a force. Nobody's willing to bite the bullet. This is solid for what it is. We don't have to worry about having enough HP to survive. Things like falls. Or get just getting run over and exploded by Dorfan. That was just insanely unlucky. to go. Not too bad. Yeah, it's starting to slow down a bit, which is unfortunate. You, you're, you, okay, we definitely need to compare this to episode 4. If there's people that want to bring in fresh characters, I will hard power level the team if I need to. I do want to level another Rocket Seal eventually, but I think pink here is good enough for now. I no longer miss. So close. Escape doll. I probably want to pick that up. See that level 61. Die no hit. That's so sad. Gotta love this cannon from Slime. They were doing red eye DKs. Oh, right. Poison Lily doesn't even insta kill on low difficulties. That's so sad. Things you forget after just like not playing it. Like, oh, Lily's actually just art threatening at all at lower difficulties. The cast. Just don't care about anything that they do. That time I got trolled by health percentage. Pick up some healing. Hip doll. My mates for sure. Trap vision. Every cast needs a chat. Can't leave home without it. What's on drop? That's kind of worth it. So yeah, so I'm thinking... 
for power leveling purposes. If Crystal wants to level a character, I could carry. Level Marco potentially tomorrow. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. So, like, it's it's good for the holiday rappies. I like doing this quest, like, not to power level, but to try to fish out the rappies. So I'll play it on, like, normal difficulty in Spam Gafoe, for example. I think that's a lot of fun with Blue ID. Go weave. Or if you want some drops, you can kick it up to hard mode. At least then you might get a Jaya. See though. It's sad. My base ATP is getting higher. I think I held his crystal before I held him. Awkward. I want that. I'm gonna find that scape doll. There we go. It took me a little while, but I got there. I'm seeing about like one Jaya run. Not bad. Hoping for a little more, but we'll take it. I can drop my three skip dolls if I need to. We're almost on an hour 45 on the character. Still got 18 levels to go. But that also includes uh, our creation time, so we're a little bit away from original, thinking of somewhere between an hour 45, hour 55. Let me die so quickly. So, yeah, so if they so just let me know in the chat who would like to level next I will probably not do this quest but that also means that I could probably just hard carry his phone Newman. I mean if you have good stuff you have good stuff don't get me wrong there's less of a requirement the only thing I'd recommend is probably some heavenly HPs to survive Dorfon. Harem. Peace. 
wow. <laughs> that, that was actually the most unkillable creature. He, he just took like seven, eight hell shots in a row. He's like, listen, he was the real hero. Speaking of which. Kaiser says, I mean, you can cast, I need to level. So we'll do a we'll do a side by side comparison. We need, but I'll probably play as a high level invincible Bell, right? Yeah, Bell Bellra's Nidra popped, so we just couldn't target him. He's actually invincible. But potentially Kaiser. I think Remote was interested. I think Chris was interested. They can definitely help you just level a character. I don't think it'll be like too much longer. I'm gonna revise the estimate to be more like 40 minutes from now. But still, like on the higher end of the estimate, just because leveling is gonna slow down pretty hard here. The last 10 levels are gonna be painful. I just don't know how painful they're gonna be. Like right now, it's okay. We're still getting like two, three levels a room. But when we get to like 70 to 80, it's gonna be painful bad. So we're not quite able to always land the first shot on the Del Saber. So accuracy level ups still matter here. Nice. And we've seen that, like, we could carry it with Phonuman at level 1 if we really want to. I, I just don't feel like making another Phonuman. In theory, I guess I could. I, We were talking about it before. There's one Phonuman I've never had a purpose of making before. In theory, I could make that Phonuman. I have enough mine materials. I guess I could set up for it. Because before Sky ID didn't really have anything I'd want to do as Phonuman. But now he would technically be decent at box hunts. In addition to being able to do desert. If I need somebody to do desert, he's not bad. I guess it would be more fair if I brought in a level 1 as a comparison. Not that I think it makes a big difference, it just matters if you have your abilities. So I might just need like a minute to set up. Then I can complete my force arrangement. I left a slot for him earlier, so I know I haven't made him yet. Take your double evades. Oh, the switch is behind. I was wondering what was suctioning my uh, attacks over there. That makes sense. The switch was there. Me alone. Wow. Missed two shots while frozen. That's so sad. thing is that I'm looking for. Rip wherever it is. Whatever.
let's see, I need to have a total of 140 mine materials and 10 luck if I just want to cap them instantly. Probably do that. And after that, I think that's the last time I'm ever going to level up Onuman, because I'll have one of every ID that I'm interested in. We're at 93% accuracy, 97. Come on, accuracy, I'll level up. Still matter here. Like it to be 100. Yeah, this might be a character I could potentially go back to for clears. Being able to potentially hell through all of Temple, I think, will be fun later. So, for example, I, I'm usually always looking for things like Vivian, so having an actual rocket seal... Hard bully her way through could be fun. Too bad. Yeah, I think we were talking about before the stream. I was thinking it was going to be two hours with character creation. But we're going on almost two hours since we started the character creation. A little sad there. 30 Jaya. Eh, not that useful. Wow, that guy just said, nope. We're not hitting me. He's better than me, chat. I, I couldn't touch him. Actually invincible. Poor enemies. I was about to heal. That wasn't needed. No accuracy booster there, though. Needs to train like a Ramar and just get one accuracy basically every level. Their photon drop, that's nice. Thirty-five plane, oof. Oh. Wait, hold on. There's a 35 hit giant on the floor. Wait, did somebody just drop that? I don't remember seeing the indicator for it. Okay. Unless that's the one Hellcleave meant. I was gonna say. I thought when you said 25, I thought you meant, uh. It's fun. It could be useful for a Hugh Cast later. I think I'd prefer 40, but this could work. It's definitely good enough for, uh... Oh, oh, okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Uh, I'm putting down a freeze trap, leave me alone. <laughs> Sor Sorcerer OP, please nerf. Oh, please don't hit me again. There we go. Yeah, we're starting to see a difference where if you start killing a lot with, like, the hell weapons... I'm starting to pull ahead in terms of levels. I'm still getting hit. That helps. 
My 20 levels above you all also, yeah. Another flow and shield. Seriously? How, how was that the only one that did get frozen in that whole room? Get out of here. Nonsense. I right, gotta drop something. Goodbye, skip doll. I think it's worth giving it up for the flow and shield. Definitely gonna have to put stuff away. Silver badge, huh? Why hunters aren't good at this quest? Oof. Nice level up. Dodging by quick game. Let's get an in-game timer check. What are we doing? We're rapidly approaching two hours in the recording. An hour 45, but only 67. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Cookie quest would be done right now. FYI. <laughs> Cookie quest broken. So I'm guessing another 30 minutes, but we'll see where it goes from there in in-game time. Hopefully not as much. Or maybe it says, yes, Cookie Quest is best quest. I mean, I could level somebody with a Cookie Quest, in theory. Somebody has not Cookie Quest before. But I was more curious about non-Cookie Quest leveling, how it compared. During the event, specifically. But maybe for Promethean, I'll sacrifice cookies to the gods. No, we haven't seen in a while. We're the rare enemies. Uh, we got a boosted rate for them. We saw some a lot more of them in the other difficulty. We saw a mill lily. It's comparatively worse. I mean, between uh, CCC versus like massive attack B. Yeah, no rappies yet. We saw one Hilda blue. We saw I think three mill lilies. Lots of Jaya. Oops, all Jaya. Thanks, Reese Trap. So dull. Did I fire trap by accident? That took forever. Either way, disappointed. Pick up some grinders. Extra accuracy. <laughs> kind of mattering? Be done, nicely done. Oh, 
but we'll get a timer check. I wonder if it'll be like 2 hours 15, 2 hours 30 in in, in game time. Hopefully it's not closer to 3 hours. That'll make me kind of sad. So far we're doing okay pace-wise. Like a little bit behind, but not like horribly behind. The cookie quest is untouchable. But it is 200% experience. It's just kind of one of those things. Because we did we did a lot of massive attack Bs with 150. I think we've done one with 200%. I rid of that. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of curious. Would it be worth trying to do a to win series to level, or would it be worth using massive attack B? It would make the most sense. The flow and shield. How? Why did that miss? He wasn't even blocking that time. Game, please. Getting actually trolled in real time. Like, he started attacking me, but it, my shot just went through him. So unfair. as Promethean. Yeah, but I think from the standpoint of just, like, how much time we have left, what would that translate to? Because it's gonna get real slow here. This is where I'm worried. So it's definitely... I was thinking, like, pops it would be two hours in game time with the bonuses. But I didn't realize how much you can whiff. Because we are losing, like, a lot of time when we just can't kill, like, Indie Belras. Because it's not a very long run. But it does waste, like, 15 seconds upwards in a run. Yeah, definitely solo should be faster. I'm going to compare that at some point. My chat speaking of just never hitting that enemy. So we're approaching like 202 XP a second, which is... Honestly, I just don't think high enough. Like, when, when I'm looking at this. Like we're just talking about from a pure leveling quest. I'm a little disappointed. Like, don't get me wrong. It's competitive to some extent with stuff we do in Ultimate. But, like, all of Episode 4 is competitive with Ultimate, if not better. Oh well. What are these? So I guess if the team has a lot of Heavenly HPs, we, we could try some cheeky things. It's mostly just surviving Dwarfon, and then if we're really HP-heavy... 
Yeah, like, I think it's the only option for rangers. I don't know if I would really... I mean, you have to stop your run if you wanted to pew pew laser. But, like, technically, you could try to pew pew laser your way through episode 4 if you really wanted to. I could definitely see a big difference in the experience. Yeah, hopefully he's hitting what I'm going for. It. So, like, I feel like if chat was, like, really loaded on items, new mop up Operation 3 would be better. If we were doing, like, just casual random runs, we have Massive Attack B on Episode 4. And then if we did uh, A to win, I don't care about items at all, then it would just be Beyond the Horizon. That's what my thought process is going through as we're murdering these things. I think I'll leave the Brave Hammer behind. I don't think I care anymore. I got enough. <laughs> there we go. We just gotta get through the run. Potentially 10 more after this, we might hit it? Maybe? We'll see. I'm hoping it'll be less than 10 more runs, but we'll see. He's trapped for sure here. Got enough room for a flown shield, I might as well just pick it up. Yeah, like st stuff like this where I'm like not able to kill the sorcerer, like that's a problem. Like it's not like a big time waste every time it happens, but it's like those are five seconds per short run that we're losing. Where like Indie Belra just trolls really hard. unfortunate. Somebody's already 71. <laughs> you can tell who else has the uh, hell abilities. Uh, I don't know where the item was I was looking for in there. I was looking for some tries. Oh, it's armed. How unfortunate. I think originally our runs without, like, the super XP boost were about three hours for Phonuman, if I remember correctly. Like, maybe a little under. I'm definitely very curious with the 200% what that would do to the run. Way to flow and shield. Yeah, nine more levels is not too far away. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, only nine more runs as well, but we'll see. And uh, Ben will hit uh, 80. Should not be that far behind. I'm only a couple kills away from leveling here. So in theory, I should end at like 72, going on 73. Here's our level. Okay, I'm now at 100% accuracy, so some of the jank of the run is mostly gone now. Oh, that was such a good delay shot just to hit him. Boom, boom, boom. 
on rare enemies to speed up the run. You could do it. Believe in the RNG. about a hundred enemies to level. Seriously? Oh, please. At least some power materials drop, which is kinda nice. Again here. The leading shot so that way I use my better accuracy. Ooh, every single one of those whiff. That's actually really unlucky. E502, please. We're very close to leveling again, so we should level. Pick up that luck material a little bit, don't worry. There we go. We technically level twice in a run. Get a little more. Is the music over? Or is it just pausing? There we go, just pausing. Ooh, an all zero Jaya, that's pretty trashy, not gonna lie. Trashy and unfortunate. Hit. Oh, we're not. You know what? If he, if they just want to do the flinch animation, I'm not gonna complain about that. Yeah, I'm moving on this one. Leave me alone. Bronze badge. Uh, I kind of want that. Oh, Diamond is huge, actually. Wait, that's not the bronze badge? Oh no, where's the bronze badge? I gotta find it before the thing ends. Is it this red item? Oh no, Angie Fist has dropped chat. The angriest of fists. Okay, now the Jayas are starting to come out, because I thought it was weird we had like eight or nine chances total between these areas of getting Jaya that I was only getting like two total in a run. No, we're catching up a little bit in the averages. I just got three in one room. They're all terrible, but it happened. I'm not super far from leveling again. Nice. The last second healing items is huge. Zero Jaya dropped again. Rip. Owen's frame finally dropped. That's nice. Madam's umbrella dropped. That's also kind of funny. We're out of there. So I should level again, and then we should be fine. 
the way the Madam's Umbrella. Sadly, it didn't really roll anything of interest. On the plus side, more badges. Done after this hell of a good time. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, the numbers I was looking for, I was thinking we were going to get a little closer to like 230 to 250 experience a second. But they spawn in such a weird way that we don't really take advantage of that. The moth slowly descending really trolls, though. That, that, that enemy spawn is, like, actually ridiculously stupid. <laughs> I wish that was not in the quest. There we go, just hit our level up. We're getting there. said no to me. Alright, 95% accuracy seems good enough. Get some materials. Not bad. So we should level again in this quest, so I'll hit 74. Have to be within, I would say, 7 or 8 total that far away from it. Again, those final levels kind of take forever, but at least now we're also missing a bit less. Kind of balances out. Before we've even gone to the next room, we're at a better XP total than when we did it before. That kind of works out. There's no reason to not try to pick up items here. I mean, it's huge. I didn't pick up a lot of trimates, but we got a lot of basic healing. Yeah, so just remember, chat, we were like, sometimes we went over 200 XP a second, but we're not quite able to get over it. We're not going to have that issue in episode 4. I, I definitely want to see the comparison now, because I think we should easily be pushing 300 on certain quests. Beyond the Horizon should definitely hit 300. I don't know if the other ones will. Massive Attack B might be more like a 250. Like, we start to cross the threshold a little bit with the wolves, which I'll... That freeze trap ever going off? Hello? <laughs> Why was it not doing anything? Very hard mode, please. Damn. I only want to try me, because I got injured. Should just barely level and get another. Ooh, don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. There we go. I was gonna say, should level again soon. There we go. This will kind of make up for the last couple of runs we gotta do. I got stun lock. That sucks so bad. Only need the dimate from there. 
Also, why are my mono mates not sorted towards the top? Didn't I hit sort like five times? I'm so confused. I thought I did that before we did this. There we go. Maybe I used them up earlier and just didn't notice. Tick doll. Oof. Was nothing worth picking up. So, nice. So I know I should probably hit level 76 on the next run. It's not too bad. Another Madam's umbrella. I don't think I'm gonna bother with that one though. Put out. Let's do an in-game time check. I imagine we're close to the two hours in-game time check. So we are unfortunately running a little overtime there, I think. So maybe we'll end around two hours twenty at this rate, maybe. Yeah. Unfortunate. Oh well. I was going to say, Murphy's going to be happy. Real time, we should be finished, hopefully, before Murphy comes back. But we'll see. I guess Murphy could be the fourth person, because he was looking to level somebody. So it'd be potentially Murphy, Remote, Chris, and Orkheiser. So we'll hold probably one more level up session tomorrow, because we need to get Marco at some point. So we'll, we'll figure something out. Then I think on a separate day, I might do a solo test with it. I definitely want to see the difference in solo experience. I imagine it'll be like 20 to 30 minutes faster. Just because, like, I am seeing, like, there's already, like, a whole level difference. Yeah, and we'll do blue at that point. But potentially Sunday night I could try to go for it. There's the rare lily. I'll die. Okay, so three Jaya's dropped. Nothing of interest, though, sadly. Some money out of here. Yeah, we might repeat this Sunday night as like a solo venture, and then when we're done, we'll just do whatever. This is simple for I don't think it should take that that long. Because I should be getting more XP per kill, and their health chances are lower. So I should hopefully just always hit them due to them also having lower evade. The combination of them having like 10 less CDK and them also being like 10% easier to hit should be pretty silly. Then I think we'll see the power of the run. Some of these. Not bad. So at least we could say we have recorded our attempt, because I do think that this is a good kind of indicator. Like, is is everybody, like, super perfect? Do we stat up the materials? No. But it is interesting in these kinds of runs you could do. Oh, it's gonna be really tight. I'm not sure if I'll level. Maybe? Might only level until we go to the next area. Help, help, Cleave get the rest of the way. Damn, that was.
was a fast kill. I'll cleave is like, I'll take whatever level A I could get to get my Hugh cast out of level 1. There we go, let's take these. All six of them were 20. Oh, true. We'll free you, Hellcleave. Be free. I still have yet to hear Chat's favorite song play from the soundtrack. I don't think I mentioned, but we're listening to uh, Tales of Destiny 2. I'm not Herb Perudi. Uh, we're getting close to leveling again. Thank you, Freeze Trap. You actually worked the way I wanted you to. Oh, I'm still getting hit. What are these spawns? Get away from me. Okay, we have a lot of stars, which is good. I feel like I would need them eventually, and we're pretty much at that point. But, like, not a ton of healing is dropping for us anymore. I think, like, a couple of stray monomates every now and then. That's about it. So close to leveling, but just not quite there. We just need 200 more XP or so. Look at that. Should level here? There we go. Barely leveled. more runs at most, and then we're done. Hopefully a little less. Oops. Die, no hit. So sad. Die, no hit. See that, chat? I called out the Jaya for not spawning up enough, but now it's starting to call him a bit more. Especially with 145%. This is the rate I was kind of expecting. At least two to three per room that we attempt. Minus the, uh, Dibble's room. I was gonna say, can you imagine if they actually bother putting rare enemies? Every single type of enemy in the game. Look out, it's Illust Gill. Make the Griffin a Chimera, yeah. Rotor Flower it just has like a try shot of Megan for no reason. It also grants you. Just make it more horrible. Mech guns them out. <laughs> oh, not quite enough to level. On the plus side, I'm getting an okay amount of Beseta. Yeah. This 
this room should level me. <laughs> to Toho loser. There you go. That's a take. enemies, which we now 100% hit, which is huge. We removed a little bit of jank from the run. It doesn't happen very often. It loses like a second when it happens. But technically the run should just be speeding up from here on. We hit an important threshold with these enemies. But you know how it is with Hell Chance. Seven. The dragon will probably finish a few minutes before us. We're not too far away, at least. And for anybody that hasn't hit it, I might just take you to be on the horizon and kill something. Just absolute annoyance to just nuke everything. Like the photon drop is under the red player. That that was some camouflage. I was like, where is that on the minimap? I don't understand. I felt like I was playing Where's Waldo? <laughs> it's like what happened? I'm getting juked. So much Mosetta. There we go, that was stubborn. Oh, I finally got a Trimate back, that's actually huge. Two Trimates back, that's huge. Went from five to seven, that's big. Those Warriors are actually gonna run out, because I get hit every now and then. Guaranteed to level next quest at least one. Gosh, lobby time. So close. So maybe perhaps, hopefully two. Ideally two, more likely three. I feel like then we'll probably hit 80 and 2. We might need 3. Hopefully we'll probably need 4. But that's okay. We can switch characters and just power level. He, Hugh casts with 810 health. He, he'll be fine. Take him somewhere. Give him that beautiful episode 4 experience. Maybe we'll, we'll put a little bit of it in the video. Just to show how dumb the XP per second is. It won't take me that long to do. Thank you, Flagmatic, for subscribing. Hope you're doing well. We should level in this room, and then we're gonna be most of the way to a level up. Some of this depended on how many kills I actually get versus just shared experience. A little sad. Oh, it tried poisoning me. It tried poisoning me, like that actually matters. Poor Lily. It tried, I guess. I just got my level up. 40,000. Maybe I'll level? We haven't finished this room yet. So I just have to get 
30,000-ish in a room and a quarter, maybe? Giant with 30 hit? Ready to drop? No, I have too many items. Sorry, right, Bonamates. <laughs> I, just, I had to make that tough call. I couldn't menu fast enough. I had to go really far for escape doll. I think that was a good call. Make that uh, 30 hit Giant. What well, did it have 28 beasts as well? Aw, oh, yeah, it does. Nice. That is absolutely who can steal Jaya. Listen, she doesn't need 50 hits. She just needs it like some hit and then a beast. Take that all day. Rip my mana mates though. They died for a good cause. Yeah. You have to think of it this way. I mean, she has like a 20 hit accuracy over everybody, and I'm able to hit pretty consistently with 45 on Hugh cast. So realistically, she should only need 25 or 30 hit to do the same. Is kind of my baseline of comparison because she's got like what two 210 to his 180 ish kind of silly Everybody got hit there. Get him off of us. There we go. Hell did not let us down there. You get off of me. It's looking very likely I'm going to level again by the end of the quest, which is actually really huge. That's like five minutes sooner. We just got to get there now. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh. Sneeze attack. Okay, so I'm gonna level in the next room. That's not too bad. 48 Gatling. There you go. So I should just level via shared experience here, I think. There we go. I need to get 41,000, so that will rarely put me in one less than run one run to level and we're out of there what's up to help me We are 100% putting away those items. Uh, I got baited. Yeah, 30 hit Jaya. So 230 hits dropped. Not bad. As I said before, these would be good enough for Hugh Seal. I don't think they're quite up to Hugh Cass. Hugh New World, I think, would also be fine with these. And Hugh Mar, maybe. We're good to go. Oh, 
I'm probably gonna bail on the quest the moment I hit 80. I might finish like one or two more waves. But I want to get the, the in-game time as accurate as possible. So normally we would kind of quit in, in between quests, but I guess because I'm not the one hosting, it doesn't really matter. There's a rare lily, that'll help the team. Oh my gosh, I'm just thinking, episode 4 rare enemy, right chat? Like, just like the dissension of the, the almighty Rappies. Like, thou shall level now. You watch chat, we're gonna get Dorfana cleared. When we go to level the next group of people. I want everybody to roll their eyes. I want I want chat to spam emotes if Dwarf on a Clear occurs. I don't care what difficulty it's on. We're getting trolled. Uh I really, really want that bronze badge. Oh, that's not the bronze badge. Where is the bronze badge? There it is. <laughs> I got to it eventually. Nice, level 80, congrats. The people not too far behind. We'll do, we'll do a nice little quick level up in a moment. But yeah, I'm bailing the moment I hit 80 though, true story. I wanna see what the in-game timer is. these, and then we'll courtesy level them to 80 if they don't hit it. I knocked down, that's so sad. I have enough money to potentially use charge arms now. 120,000 or so is actually not too bad for that. So close. Ink tip. Eh. Yeah, we got some passable drops. I think very hard mode it might be worth just doing like massive attack B. Just to try to get ignition cloak. This is technically supposed to be like super common. If you think about it this way, if it's a one in one thousand, but then like rare ready is boosted and then rare enemy is boosted, it's actually pretty low, comparatively. That's two different things that you're multiplying by almost 50%. Okay. Got him bailing. I want to see the in-game time. That is time. And then we're going to give Helpy the stuff back. How long did that take? game time was two and a half hours so yeah i was worried it was going to go over two hour 20 based off of what i was seeing pacing wise so still still like fast it's still sub three hours so definitely better than some of the other runs we've done before we got more comfortable with our characters but yeah i i, I think we could get it lower <laughs> i'm just saying chat like i am pretty sure we could get it lower now the real question is Who should end up posting the next set? That's the real question. If somebody's making a blue ID, that makes it easy. Otherwise, it's a question mark. But I think for now, what we're gonna do, we're going to, I guess, do just a quick wrap up for the video, but we're gonna continue with the stream. So thoughts and feelings on how long it took to level. Uh, a little disappointed. I think the Belra and the Sorcerer slowed it down a bit more. I knew about the slow moth, but I was kind of hoping with V502 we'd have more consistent clears. So that definitely just kind of sapped away at some time. So it kind of bled into, I would say probably accurately between three and five minutes of time loss. Just because that would happen almost every run to at least one enemy. And then if we got knocked down because it missed, then you know, that's like nine seconds, potentially a player where we're trying to stand up and hit with a shotgun. So that does add up. So it's a bit unfortunate. I can see where it's really strong in solo, and I think it's worth revisiting in the future for a solo run. I do not want to do the solo run tonight. But what we're going to do, chat, we're going to say goodbye to YouTube for this part. If you did watch to this point, the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. 
and hope to see you in the next part.